Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm gonna give you my review of Metro Tube from Windows Phone 7. I haven't done an app review in a little while here, but I definitely felt like this app deserved a review. MetroTube is one of the best uh, Windows Phone 7 applications. It's the best Windows Phone um, application for YouTube, and it's probably one of the best YouTube applications on any phone, period. Definitely, I think it's better than the iOS and the Android versions of YouTube, the ones YouTube provide. MetroTwit is uh, independently developed, and it's, like I said, the best YouTube application available on here, and they've just had a, a, an update to make it, uh, Mango compatible and it's even got uh, even better look than I remember from before. You can see here it has a very Windows Phone 7 look to it. The Metro UI interface really cool. You have different sections. You have subscriptions right here. You can see how elegantly it displays those sub, uh, subscriptions. And um, they, he BlackBerry Bold when and he finally spelled that right. He wouldn't he didn't spell that right originally. <laughs> and um, have your categories here. You can go through. You have featured and most viewed. You can see there what's going on on YouTube. And you have your little section here for subscriptions. So you can view all your subscriptions right here in one section. As it loads up there. You have your playlist. And I'm doing this over Wi-Fi, just to let you guys know. 3G is a little bit slower, but that's because of 3G. This is doing it on Wi-Fi for the sake of the video. Speed things up, favorites, and you can view your uploads. Let's view one of my particular uploads. And before we do that, I'll show you the menu settings here. You can pin uploads to your... Well, um, main desktop on your um, Windows Phone, your main home screen there if you want to. You can refresh if you know there's new content available. You check out the settings. Settings available here. You can have different languages if you want to. You can also run under lock screen. You can change your region. Also, you can change your uh, video streaming quality if you want it on low by default. HQ recommended. HD if available. Now, that's only available if you uh, pay for the particular application. I know for the, uh, I know, I believe it's either 99 cents or dollar ninety-nine for the paid one. It is a free one available too. It still gives you pretty much a quite a, quite a few features to have. Now, this one, um, this little checkbox here lets you sync with music and video hub, which I'll show you how that works in just a second. But we're going to play a video to show you how the video interface looks. We'll do the Nook tablet unboxing here. And this is how it looks, and you can see it's really cool. And you can see in the background it has sort of that uh, Windows Metro UI background, sort of like you know faded faded background effect. And I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's really nice, and it really brings an elegance to it. You have your comments here. You can you can read the comment on the video. You can actually comment yourself if you're logged in. You can I uh, will go back one here. Well, you can um, thumbs up or thumbs down a video. You can hit the uh, so show description right there. You can um, also right here, these icons unless you share, and unless you share by social network, by email, or by SMS, you can add to your favorites, you can playlist it, or you can pin it to your uh, start screen as well too. Swipe them to the side, gives you more information about the author, basically gives you more information about their channel. You can see all the other videos they've uploaded, and you can see related content to that particular video, and hit back to play on um, playing section here. Now you can play like this way if you want to play, but the optimal way obviously is to play in landscape mode here which will start to play. And by default it has it on HQ which is 360p. I can drop it lower if I want to to be uh, 240 and if HD is available I can choose 720p HD. Now mind you it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit jerky on HD depending on how the HD is. I just fast forward there to show you that. Now I'll add HD to it. Now in HD you have to have it in this particular rotation if you're going to use HD. And we'll scroll back a little bit to give it some time to buffer there. So it can be a little sluggish in HD depending on how high quality HD is of the particular video. But it, eventually it, will, it, it kind of catches up with itself. You let it pause a little bit there. Let it buffer a little bit more and eventually catches up and it plays smoothly from that point forward. I don't really consider a consider limitation of the application. I think you know since everybody uploads in different HD format, it can really depend upon that too and how well how well the 720p works. Okay. There's a nut here have it, itself. You can see there's it's working. And this device is a one gigahertz uh, processor device. It works pretty decently. I'm pretty sure on the higher end Windows phones that are out now it probably works just as smooth, if not smoother, from start. You can see there. So that's the playing experience and you can expand it further if you want to. You can lock the screen. You can have a replay back, kind of get the idea there. And the cool thing is, why I hit home is if you go to music and video, and you go to history, anything that you play to Metro 2 will show up in here, and you can go right into it right from there. So if I want to check out the Nook tablet review again, 
like type it unboxing rather again it'll launch the application just like that pretty cool pretty neat stuff neat stuff going on here for the Windows Phone application and overall I'm really 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 impressed with this application itself go ahead and pause there pause there. Overall, I'm just really impressed with MetroTube in general. It's one of the best applications. It really shows how what you can do with Windows Phone 7, especially on Mango and with the Metro UI interface. It just really shows how well it works. i show you it's compatible with Mango, as you can see there. It, um, it You can multitask between it, so if I decide to go back to and then I can switch back if I want to. You can see there, so it does support that. It's just elegant. It works real well. You have all the features that you need that you would expect on YouTube to really have a solid YouTube experience on here. MetroTube, I definitely recommend you grabbing that. Should be one of the first apps you should grab if you get a new Windows Phone device. Um, if you if you need to get on YouTube, this is the app to have. Don't even bother with the, the YouTube application, the, the, the default one. That one's just terrible. This is the best one out there, and it's I think the best YouTube application on a phone period. I think it beats out the iOS and Android um, offerings by far. This is just extremely solid. And the guys over at Lazy Warm Apps did a really, really good job with this. So I'd even recommend even getting the paid version to support those guys. It's This is definitely a good YouTube application. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, circle us on Google, subscribe to our RSS feeds. The link to all of that stuff is in the description, also to our main website at bw1.com, all in the description, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.